this fry dry yeah that's what it was called well my mom my grandmother everyone in my village i grew up in guarakara which is on the way to tabakit and we call this fry dry and normally we would use either sardines or um herring the, the small tiny ones where you can chew the bones and everything you know i spent the last 30 years in canada i've started using smelts both ocean smelts this is ocean smelt and and lake smelts and at the end of winter as this onset of spring in lake ontario i used to go catch these with a net and it's, you know, it's a funny story maybe for another day but anyway we're doing fry dry and I have one and a half, almost two pounds of smelts here. Nice small fish. And I've opened them up. I've cleaned the insides. I've used the juice of half of a lemon to wash it. So wash, clean, and trimmed and everything else. If you wanted to trim off the tails, you can certainly do that. Some people like munching on the crunch. Totally up to you. But it's very simple to season. We've got to season it and let it sit in that seasoning for about 30 minutes to one hour. Two hours, you get better results. And I'll just move things a little bit closer for me to be able to do it, to season it for you all. But anyhow, we have the smelts all clean and everything else. And again, if you have tiny herrings or sardines or any, anything along with small fish, you can use that. In goes salt. Yeah, we need some sea salt. I like using sea salt. It's the only salt I use at home. Some fresh ground black pepper. A bit of curry powder and in here I have shadow benny, thyme, scallion, garlic and what we call a young scotch bonnet pepper so which means it's not fully mature it's very soft you can see it has quite maybe about three more weeks to go on the tree so it is not as spicy um, the flavor is, is, you know, I find it to be unique because it's, 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 it's between a seasoning pepper and um, um, some heat. But anyways, I have a whole one cut up and everything has been chopped very finely here. And the reason why I like to chop it up rather than to puree it is because I want it to stick onto the fish and later on when we fry it, yeah, fry dry, so I have some vegetable oil waiting there to get used after I use that. I've already used that oil to make french fries. So <laughs> it's gonna go in the rubbish after. But anyhow, when it latches on to the fish, I'm telling you, once you bite and you get a crisp and you don't need anything else with this fish, you know? Some people may want some sort of dipping sauce and all that, absolutely not, you don't need it. But if that's your thing, that's your thing. And how mommy would make it for us, or serve it is with dal and rice and fry dry. I like it just as a snack. To help this adhere to the fish, I'm gonna go in with a tablespoon of olive oil in there. I'm gonna hit that to mix. And then we're gonna to toss it all over the fish here. We're gonna give that a good mix. I'm gonna go in with my hands now, remember the scotch bonnet pepper in this sort of impromptu green seasoning. And if you have green seasoning and you just want to use that green seasoning, that is totally up to you. Wear gloves because that scotch bonnet pepper will want to scream at you. And you know what I'm talking about. While my hands were dirty, I couldn't touch the camera, but what I wanted to show you all, in the belly cavity of each fish, I stuffed it with some of that seasoning that we created so all this is going to do now what we're going to do now put some plastic wrap in the fridge one hour 30 minutes whatever amount of time you have but at least 30 minutes would be great yeah and then we're going to get to frying them basically all you need to do at this point is to flour dust them just plain old all-purpose flour you don't need to season the flour or anything because we've got a lot going on in the pot here already on the fish already and we're just gonna fry them on the, until they're crisp. We're gonna flip them over, fry them on both sides, medium high heat, and then set them on some paper towels or a wire wrap to drain. And that's about it, it's that easy, man.
anywhere from seven to ten minutes. Remember to flip them over a couple times and you get to personalize how crispy you want it, yeah? Just keep in mind that with, with most fried foods, as it cools and it comes out of the oil here, it will darken further. So what I like doing now is I'm going to give this about 30 seconds. I've got my paper towel lined um, plate here. And again, if you wanted to use a wire rack, I'm a huge fan of using a wire rack when I'm frying foods because it tends to keep the crispness by sitting in here. It creates steam and it will want to go soggy. But I'm on too lazy to go downstairs at this point where that wire rack is. So, hey, I'm going to deal with it accordingly. I'm just going to continue frying these in batches now. And remember, don't overcrowd the pan, yeah? As I take the last batch out of the pot here, what I forgot to mention is as they come out of the hot oil, and again, I used vegetable oil. You can use whatever oil you like frying your fish with. What you can do is take just a little bit of sea salt while it's still hot out of the pot. Like right now where it is there, boom, a little bit of sea salt. And yo, that is it. <laughs> Sup soldiers? Listen, if you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me, email address down here, I mean, trying to tell people the email address, them butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it. And tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pod. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Irene, Irene. On goes that tiny bit of sea salt. Serve it up with some lemon wedges. Mommy never gave us lemon wedges. As a matter of fact, it was dal rice. Probably a little coconut choker. And... <laughs> Fry dry. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you all in the kitchen with me. Fry dry smelter. Again, you can use sardines, you can use herrings, any small fish where it's easy to, well, it won't be easy to clean, but once you can munch on the bones and everything, you eat everything on there. You got tiny, tiny little bones on there. I forgot to mention that there is tiny bones in there, but you can make your way through it. Real easy, man. Irie? Irie.